Good morning, and thank you for joining me for morning prayer for Friday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time. Let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You alone I have grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. I, o oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You alone I have grieved by my sins. Have pity on me, O Lord. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priests forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely as I am loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, burn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord is God, he made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise, give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I willingly boast of my weakness, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I am content with weakness with mistreatment, with distress, with persecutions and difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am powerless, it is then that I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make known to me the path I must walk. Be merciful to me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At daybreak, be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath that he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Raising our eyes to Christ, who was born and died and rose again for his people, let us cry out, Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. Blessed are you, Jesus, Redeemer of mankind. You did not hesitate to undergo your passion and death, to redeem us by your precious blood. Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. You promised that you would provide living water, the fountain of eternal life. Pour forth your Spirit upon all people. Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. You send disciples to preach the gospel to all nations. Help them to extend the victory of your cross. Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. You have given the sick and the suffering a share in your cross. Give them patience and strength. Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. I invite you now at this time to add your own prayers and petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue our prayer for those recovering from uh, surgery or experiencing illness at this time. May God's healing hand rest upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all students and teachers who have begun school, their academic year this, uh, this week. May they be guided by your word and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father all-powerful, let your radiance dawn in our lives that we may walk in the light of your law with you as our leader. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Morning Prayer this morning. Have a blessed Friday.